You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor, a shantytown of soul shriven outside Menemarco's castle. As luck would have it, Menemarco is away on some errand for the Daedric Prince. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. The main gate is sealed, but there are undoubtedly other routes one might take. You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. What a skaver. Improvise, he says. I can't believe we're risking our lives to rescue that scathing horker. Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. Kill all the worms, I say. Mount their heads on spikes. That's easy. All you've got to do is get captured, killed, and stuffed into a soul gem like yesterday's laundry. If you're serious, Cadwell could probably get you in. Might be too late, though. They just chased him into the guardhouse. Why am I not surprised to find Cadwell here? He certainly does get around. doing here intruders your snooping around has reached its end You like your skin? Think we can find another use for it? Move to play!
just say, jolly good timing. Lyris enchanted, as always. And you, you're looking fit for someone, so uh, how can I put it? Deficient in the soul department? Wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies shriven, wherever a people cry out for justice, there goest I. I mean, this whole eternal servitude business is rather nasty, don't you agree? Dibella's garters, why? Lovely grounds, no question, but it's positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Hmm. There is a cistern that drains into the waterway. Uh, the door is locked, but that's not stopped me before. Why don't you meet me there and we'll see what's what? That might be our best chance to get inside. Leave it to the Daedra to fill a cave with bones and muck. You keep up nicely. I can't abide dawdlers. This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion, what's it? The Daedra use pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated, but in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep and you can slip inside. Well, I could handle the tinkering, but you'll have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a romp. Are you game? Onward! Ha <laughs> ha!
Don't worry, this will get you inside with a minimum of fuss. one. There you are, quick as you please, there's even time for tea. A pleasure thinking nothing of it, the merest trifle, truly. You'll find this Tharn fellow at the top of the Tower of Bones. You'll need to make your way through the Keep's heart to get to it, but it's not terribly far. I understand the King of Worms has set him to the task of inspecting the soul gems that find their way into the castle. Which is to say, well, uh, all of them. You'll see crates of the things scattered around the premises. Indeed? Well, I might just take you up on that. But safety first. I'll stay here for the nonce and make sure nothing comes to bugger up our little adventure from behind. Sir Cadwell came through again. That crazy night is starting to grow on me. Should I be worried? Oh no, hear me out. How many thorns does it take to rule an empire? Would you shut up? I'm trying to work here. None. The one on the throne is a patsy, and the one in the tower isn't useful anymore. That's not even funny. Get back to work with you. To the south! You, hurry up. The worms are on the move. Oh good, another projection of Tharn. Maybe if we ignore him, he'll go away. There you are. I was beginning to think you were captured. We have a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. The door at the top of the tower has sealed with a warded barrier. I've seen the worms use similar sorceries before. It will sear you to ash if you touch it. But here's a thought. The flesh atronachs that patrol the castle halls are assembled in a laboratory very close to the warded door. If you created your own atronach, it would be bound to obey you. You could force it to smash through the barrier. It's a simple process. A child of five could do it. Unfortunately, we don't have a child of five, so I'll be forced to walk you through it. You'll need some good-sized chunks of flesh. Take them to the laboratory, and I'll contact you there. It takes a lot to make me ill, but this is getting there.
that a lung? Now, cast the ritual from the book. Ha! We'll make a necromancer of you yet. Through the 
door and to the summit. Be gone, insufferable worms. I'm working as fast as I can. So, we meet in person at long last. You look taller in your projection. And not a moment too soon. If I had to inspect one more bloody soul gem, I'd have thrown myself from the tower. A fair question. I know things. Things that can help you. Here's a bit to whet your appetite. Menemarco isn't doing any of this to serve Molag Bar. His ultimate plan is to out-scheme the God of Schemes and to replace him. The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything. Why do you think he kidnapped Sai Sahan? He's precisely. With the amulet at his command, Manimarko believes he can trap Molag Baal's essence and absorb his power. I'd love to discuss this further, but this is hardly the place. Get me... Now, now, Thar. No telling my secrets. Go to your room, Abner. I will deal with you shortly. Ah, dear Lyris. Your old position at the Foundry is still available. We'll even give you your own set of unbreakable chain. And you, the thorn in my side, the pebble in my shoe. How strong are you? Can we test your limits? Process drains the energy for most victims that you keep fighting.
much more can you take, I wonder? So, we meet in person at long last. Now, now, Pa. No telling my secrets. Go to your room, Abner. I will deal with you shortly. So? Now, now, Tha. No telling my secrets. Go to your room, Abner. I will deal with you shortly. Ah, dear Lyris. Your old position at the Foundry is still available. We'll even give you your own set of unbreakable chain. And you, the thorn in my side, the pebble in my shoe. How strong are you? Can we test your Infuriating. The process drains the energy from most victims, yet you keep fighting! attack the Chancellor of the Elder Council. His power wanes, Vestige. Strike him down. While his attentions are on me. How dare you betray me, Zahn? Your suffering will be legendary. He will not remain discorporated for long. Because Manimarko has delusions of God. He cares nothing for the Empire. He seeks only power. First things first, we need to get out of here alive. We certainly can't go back the way you came in. I'd imagine they're swarming the grounds already. There's a refuse chute further down the path. It's a bit of a drop, but we'll probably survive. You must be the ugliest princess ever rescued from a tower, Tharn. Hmm. I'm shocked your lack of education and repeated blows to the head haven't dulled your wit, Titanborn. Hello again! Need a way out? I'll have that open in just a moment. Ah, 
Arcade preservers. You're as battered and bruised as a peach in a sack of rocks. Well, it's what I do, quite honestly. We should probably hurry it up. The entire... Come with you? You mean leave Cold Harbor? Well, I, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've seen the world I left behind. Do, do you think it's wise? Well, that's, uh, that's settled then. And after all. Into the shoot, come on! Quickly, I've opened another portal, hurry! My estates, my titles, my own life, it's all forfeit now. All in the name of preserving the Empire. Of course. I am Abner Tharn. It will take more than a few brainless cultists to rattle these old bones. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Truth be told, I don't know the precise location, but I do know that he is Manimarko's prisoner, and that the... Now, now, before you lose your temper, let me clarify. I... What? You son of a bitch! Ah! Are you insane? Get away from me, you brutish she-troll! Lewis, stand down. He's done nothing but lie to us from the beginning. I don't care what he says. He'll always be Menemarco's toady. Please. Menemarco wants me dead. Did I pretend to capitulate to him? Yes, I did. Do you have any idea how many lives I saved by doing so? The only thing you saved was your holdings in your own hide, you pompous ass! Enough! Abner had no choice, Lewis. And we are guilty of our own deceit, are we not? The time has come for the Vestige to know the truth. What's this? The Vestige doesn't know? Oh, this is rich. Sire, don't. Vestige, until now, you've only known me as the Prophet. But that is not my true name. I am Varen Aquilarius. Our fallen Emperor, in the tattered robes of a moth priest, blind as a newborn kitten. I am sorry I deceived you, Vestige. You are angry. It is to be expected. I was once, but no more. In truth, I feared you'd kill me where I stood if you knew who I was. You certainly wouldn't have allied with us so readily. You must not blame Lyris. She did as I instructed. She's my sworn protector, but she is also your ally. You have my solemn promise, Vestige. When this is over, if you still judge me harshly, you can end my life. I will offer no resistance. We must find Sai Sahar. Everything depends on that. In this matter, nothing. Abner and I must confer. We will contact you again when we have more information. I did not foresee Abner's defection, but I welcome it. Manamako fears him, and with good reason. He can help us, I feel certain. 